Hey guys, welcome back to the Duck Hill Sawmill. My name is Ben. Today we're doing our 10 hour check of the clutch bolt that's behind this cover. Oh, hi Moose. So we've had the mill about a week and a half. We've crossed 10 hours on the clock. And what needs to happen now, we need to uh, check the torque on the center clutch bolt for 45 foot pounds. Uh, I tried to do that yesterday and just ran into a scenario where everything, um, it just kept spinning and I couldn't get it to torque down. So wondering if there was like an arbor lock or something on the, on the engine, I emailed Timber King <clears throat> and they told me the solution was just to jam a leather glove in the pulley between the belt uh, and the pulley that runs the um, hydraulic pump. So I wanna give you that little tidbit right away and then I'll show you how to do it here in a minute. We got a little bit of rain coming. Uh, it's lightly raining right now, so I'm gonna try and jam this out before the big storm gets here. But let's jump over there and, and take care of it. All right, so to get this cover off, there are four bolts and nuts. They are a 7 16 or 11 millimeter, depending on where in the country you are. I think the 11 millimeter actually fits better. I haven't checked my, I haven't checked the owner's manual to see what Timber King actually says they are. But either way, uh, the other thing you'll need <clears throat> is a deep well socket. This one over here is kind of a pain in the butt to get to. I'll show you a, a better picture of where all of these are. Um, and also with that one, because it's hard to get a combination wrench on, uh, I use an adjustable. The other tool you're gonna need is a torque wrench and a 15 16 socket for that clutch pulley. Um, and a leather glove. So without further ado, we've got two bolts here, one here on top and one right there, just above that cover. So let's get these all popped off. This would be a little bit easier to do if we ran the head all the way down to the end. I'm just gonna do it where it is. And the other thing, so with this one, my first reaction to doing this yesterday was to try and reach all the way up underneath to hold on to that uh, nut on the back or the bolt on the back. However, you can just come in from the back and get your, your socket on there real nice and easy. Try not to drop them like I just did. So here's the one I was saying was kind of a pain in the butt because you can't get a, a socket on there. I just come over, hold her down with that adjustable wrench and there we go now our cover is free okay so all that cover is free it just slides off we can set it down and this is the magic nut that we're after like I said it's a 15 16 and you'll see what I was running into yesterday was that it just turns. So take our leather glove, jam it in there at the 10 o'clock position. Hmm, <laughs> we're still gonna There we go. So she's stuck in there and now I can, I'm already set at 45 foot pounds and there we're hitting the torque. So we're still good on torque. Now I have to get that out of there. <laughs> so just reverse it. Out we go. So at 10 hours, I know that my clutch bolt's still in good shape. Now I can put this all back on. After after changing this or checking this at 10 hours, I believe the service interval is every 150 hours to check this again. Uh, so now we'll need to remember at 160 hours to check that torque. 
which the way we've been cutting will be there pretty quick. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. So we went on our first mobile job and broke a band. So the next video is gonna show you how to replace uh, our drive wheels, um, or the, the tires on the drive wheels. So I've got four new belts ordered so that I always have a set of spares. Um, and because when the belt, or when the blade came off, it cut up the drive side tire. Um, so our next video will be that, how to replace those. Cool, until next time.